Rumors are swirling that Donald Trump will soon be arrested for paying hush money to a porn star to hide their affair. Basically, Trump's being indicted for the rich person version of deleting your browser history. <laughs> In order to protect his reputation, Trump offered the DA $300,000 not to tell anyone about his hush money indictment. <laughs> On Tuesday, President Biden gave the National Medal of Arts to several entertainers, including Mindy Kaling. Biden said Kaling has helped advance arts in America by being the first woman of color to create and star in a primetime sitcom, and by making Velma, which we can use to torture prisoners in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Def Leppard's drummer Rick Allen is recovering after he was attacked and beaten outside of a Florida hotel. And this is terrible. Not only was Rick unarmed, he was even more unarmed than a regular person. <laughs> Bucks County, Pennsylvania is suing several social media platforms, including TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, claiming that they cause anxiety and depression in young people, although some Pennsylvania residents seem completely unaffected. Late comedian Andy Kaufman, who participated in several wrestling stunts during his lifetime, will be inducted posthumously into the WWE Hall of Fame. And there's still a slim chance he'll show up to accept in person. <laughs> An African serval rescued from a tree in Cincinnati tested positive for cocaine. Cops suspected it was on cocaine because it was out at 2 a.m. dressed in that gaudy cheetah print. <laughs> Elizabeth Banks has already bought the rights to Cocaine Cat's story. <laughs> Dove Soap criticized the Oscars for naming Brendan Fraser Best Actor, saying, Stop giving fat suit awards. We want better representation in Hollywood. Hashtag let's change beauty. <laughs> now, it's a dumb complaint, but from a business standpoint, it makes sense that a soap company panders to people with the most surface area. <laughs> An Italian professor now claims that Leonardo da Vinci's mother was an Italian slave. San Francisco then voted to send his 22 living descendants $5 million each. That's it for weekly news. To see more, subscribe to my YouTube channel and come see me live. I'll be at the Funny Farm in Ohio April 7th and 8th and at the Comedy Chateau in North Hollywood on April 14th. Aha! I just caught you watching the Fascist Babylon Bee YouTube channel. But now that you're here, we need all the people we can get. You gotta like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell so we can report all of their fascist content to our YouTube overlords, who are definitely not lizard people controlled by George Soros.